Hello, this is Greg James, uh, one of the co-founders of The Retrievers. Uh, we've had a lot of people asking how to build a Missy Trap, and we do have uh, a tutorial video in process that we're trying to put together that explains how to build one start to finish. But in the interim, I wanted to get this out there uh, for a number of reasons. Um, the one being for more or less patent protection, but the other for um, for for those uh, inquiries that we've had recently of of how to build one, this will hopefully give them some sort of an idea on how to get things started and what components we use. Uh, the 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 panels themselves are uh, horse panels or cattle panels that are that we purchase, and they're about sixteen feet long and five feet tall. We cut them down into five foot tall. Uh, sections or uh, single panels. They're five foot tall and about 44 inches wide. Uh, this Missy Trap here in the video, this is just a slightly smaller version, uh, but in the end it's uh, the, the, we make, we use eight panels or eight sides, so the, the trap ends up being an elongated octagon. Um, at, the, at the one end is the gate. The gate swings upward and into the trap. Uh, this helps in keeping the dog from getting out once it's captured. For the, uh, for the gate itself, we have two latches and we simply use uh, simple gate latches that can be purchased at the hardware store for about four or five bucks. There's one on either side of the gate. It's uh, double locking or double latching so that there's uh, pretty much zero chance of the dog actually unlatching and opening the uh, the, the gate because they just it's, it's it's difficult for a person to open this gate when it's closed and latched. Um, right there in the middle on the piece of wood on the underside, you can't see it, but there's just a piece of metal, and we use that piece of metal for our magnet that holds the gate open. You'll, if I if I pan up here, you'll see right there is the magnet uh, hanging from the the center of the trap. So that magnet uh, is uh, stuck to that piece of metal on there to hold the gate open. And we use that magnet in conjunction with our photoelectric sensor. The photoelectric sensor is down here on the one side. It's mounted to a piece of wood and the piece of wood is just hanging on, the, on this side. You can see, uh, just put some L brackets on the top of the piece of wood and it just hangs in place. And then the, the sensor powers run up to the magnet via the wires and uh, everything is powered by either a vehicle, an, an electrical outlet, or even uh, a car battery. So the sensor is on this side of the trap and it's placed near the back of the trap so we know that the dog is all the way in and beyond the gate uh, before it trips the sensor. And then on the other side we've got a reflector mounted to a board that's also just uh, hanging on the side of the trap via the two little L brackets. So the idea is when that dog breaks the sensor beam, it kills power to the magnet up top here. You'll see on that piece of wood, sorry to hide in the garage here, but, um, and then uh, kills power to the magnet, which releases the gate. The gate swings down and closes and latches, and the dog is caught. Now, go, getting back to some of the other components of the trap itself, uh, the eight pieces, the eight panels or sub panels there's eight and the 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 three in the back I call it the backstop what we use to permanently affix these is these small uh, put my hand in here so you get an idea these are just chain links that are from light fixture chain and I have some extras over here on the workbench this can be purchased at a hardware store they're easy to open up and close reclose with with a um, pair of pliers or a couple pairs of pliers so we use those you'll see on the on the trap on the back we've got several of those going up and down this means that those those panels are permanently affixed they, they fold together those three panels for easy transport they fold flat if I come around over to this other side again these panels over here are permanently affixed so what we have is essentially a uh, what I call the triple or the backstop, the 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 three panels in the back. Then we have two on the side and two on the other side, and each of those pairs is permanently affixed also. And then we have the single panel on the front, which is the gate itself, the gate panel. 
Now, to clip the subsections together, what we use, for instance, what we have here is a, a, a joint where uh, the, on the left side over here, we have the, um, the, uh, the triple, as I call it, the backstop. And then on the, this here, we have one of the side uh, pairs. But we, what we use is these, these clips, and these can be purchased at the hardware store as well, and this makes for easy assembly. They're just a spring-loaded clip, and uh, we just spread those out up and down the, this joint and um, attach, attach the panels together. Across the top, at the back, across the backstop, I have these two two by twos that have been cut to length. And at the end of that two by the two by twos, we've installed some eye bolts, drilled some holes, and put some eye bolts in. And then we just use some of those quick clips, as I call them, the spring-loaded clips, to attach them here at the top. Now these are these are crisscrossed at the back of the trap, as you'll see. And this just adds to adds stability and rigidity to the design. And then at the same time, I also have one that goes from one side to the other uh, across the near the front of the trap. So there's three boards up total. Uh, it's sort of hard to see. I apologize, but I paint, we paint them black so that they blend in with the woods or the forest that we often put these traps out in. And again, you'll see here that we've got an eye bolt. Uh, into the piece of wood, and then we've got a quick clip that's just attaching to the top. Again, this just adds to stability. There is still some movement, some of, of a, a adjustability, if you will, when setting out the trap, and, and we, we always try to set it on as flat a ground as we can. Um, if it has to be on unflat ground, what we often do, or what we insist on doing, is that the gate itself is at the low end of the slope. What this does is it puts an angle on the gate, gate, the gate panel, which helps in making sure that the gate latches and stays latched once the, once the door closes. We're using gravity to help us out there. For the photoelectric sensors and the magnet, I'll show you which brand we purchase and we use. The sensor itself is called is by a brand Secolarm. You'll see the, the model number there, E931S3RRQ. Uh, it's a photoelectric sensor. It can run on 12 volt or 120 volt AC. Um, it comes with a reflector, but the reflector is, in my opinion, somewhat small. So what we've done is we've purchased these uh, reflectors, these much larger reflectors. I think they're a three inch diameter off of Amazon. And we just mount them to the piece of wood. And here you'll see we've got the piece of wood. And on the top, we just put some L brackets, and when those are back there, you can just hang the hang the sensor board or the reflector board from the side of the trap. In conjunction with this particular sensor, we found that uh, the best magnet to use is, of course, the Secolar magnet. This is a uh, model number E-941SA-80Q. Uh, has an 80 pound holding force which is more than enough to hold the gate open because the gate weighs only about 10 pounds and again we wire up the sensor normally closed and so the power is always to the magnet until the beam on the sensor is broken and when the when the beam is broken it kills power of the magnet and drops the gate uh, here I have again another example of the quick clips that we use to uh, put the latches or put the gate or the, the, the trap panels together. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Feel free to reach out to us on our website, uh, theretrievers.org. If you have any questions at all, we're more than willing to help out in explaining how to build one of these traps uh, so that you can help bring another dog home and hopefully into safety and back to its family. I uh, appreciate your time and have a wonderful day. Thank you.